recognize the gentleman from California, Mr. Cardenas, for his five minutes of question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, appreciate this opportunity to have this discussion and this uh, public discussion on this very, very important issue. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Secretary, um, you've inherited a deeply challenging task and on the heels of the Trump administration's egregious and inhumane family separation policy, you're charged with protecting kids who are increasingly exploited and forced into child labor by U.S. corporations, uh, being forced to work with unsafe machinery and hazardous materials, risking literally life and limb. All of this because of lackluster approach to protecting children uh, by some of my Republican colleagues and the twice impeached president who routinely uh, vilified and mistreated immigrants. Let me be clear, child labor is child abuse, and this needs a strong legislative response at every level. Unfortunately, current child labor protections do not go nearly far enough to deter uh, child exploitations. Corporations, U.S. corporations, find ways to shield themselves from liability by employing third-party contractors, for example. Uh, this deserves all of our attention. We need solutions designed to protect children. Meanwhile, child labor laws are being systematically weakened by many Republican legislators at the state level. For example, in at least 10 states, legislation has been proposed to roll back modest child labor protections in an attempt to enable multi-billion dollar corporations to exploit, exploit children right here in America. Immigrant children are getting tangled in barbed wire and drowning in the Rio Grande, Texas, I hope that we hear outrage of that from every single person in Congress. If Republicans are concerned about these kids, they would do everything in their power to make it safer for them to seek asylum. They would make it harder to exploit them and abuse them right here in our own country. Also, one of the solutions that seems to be on the minds of some of my uh, Republican colleagues is claiming that the solution is uh, to the exploitation of unaccompanied minors is to shut down immigration at the southern border. This approach is unconscionable and it's just un-American and it's also untenable. Unaccompanied children are some of the most vulnerable among us and the United States has a moral and legal obligation to ensure that those children are safe. I refuse to have us turn our backs on, our, on children fleeing war, violence, persecution, and abuse. We can address exploitation by making sure sponsor vetting reflects best practices and equip ORR to provide post-release services. And by having a 60% cut, uh, which is what some of my colleagues want to do, is not a solution at all. But we should not tolerate the simplistic and inhumane proposal that the answer here is to shut down the southern border. It's time for us to get serious about how we can support these children and not inflict unnecessary cruelty on vulnerable children. I have a question for you, um, Secretary Becerra. How have state laws rolling back child labor protections impeded HHS's ability to serve and protect unaccompanied children after being released from OR custody? Congressman, thank you for the question. And as you know, in order to be able to enforce uh, laws that protect our children from exploitive labor, we need to have a partnership with our state partners because it won't be enough to just try to do it through the Department of Labor at the federal level or with HHS. We need to work with our state partners. And if a state is actually diminishing its protections against child labor, it sure makes it tough for us to go out there and enforce against the type, this type of exploitive practice. I think by diminishing those local laws, it actually uh, encourages bad actors across this country to just even do more. Um, have there been other efforts at the state level to restrict corporations with, uh, with ORR? If so, what pre um, presented the greatest challenges? Well, our, our challenges is trying to make sure we can spot where the uh, exploitive activity will occur and so we can make sure that any sponsor who wishes to take a child would not engage in that activity in cahoots with those employers. And so the more sight we have on that working with the Department of Labor, the more likely we'll be able to prevent the child exploitation that occurs. So Department of Labor at the federal level, but there are also departments of labor at, local, at the local level in states, right? The, in fact, they're more important because they are on the ground and have greater resources and personnel to try to protect uh, labor laws, especially for children. Uh, the department uh, at the federal level, Department of Labor, is very stretched 
and we, we, we continue to do these partnerships so we can get the best uh, efficiency out of our working together to protect these kids. Well, I hope Congress gives you more resources to do uh, the job that is needed to be done. My time ha having expired, I yield back. Thank you. Gentlemen, you